Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about the simple machine. Students, do you know what a machine is? Machines help us do our work faster. Our work takes lesser time and lesser energy. If we use some machines. Now first learn the difference between a simple machine and a complex machine. A machine with one or no moving parts is called a simple machine. While complex machines are made up of two or more machines working together as a single machine. The most commonly used simple machines are inclined plane, wheel and axle, pulley, wedge, and gears. Let's explore lever. A lever is a rigid bar that moves about a point, called fulcrum. It is used to raise or lower a heavy body. Components of a lever include effort, load, fulcrum. An effort is a force that is applied to the lever. Load is the object we want to move. And fulcrum is the point of rotation. Following are the examples of levers around us. A pair of scissors, a shovel, a seesaw. Dear students, let's discuss the inclined plane. An inclined plane is a sloping surface with one end higher than the other. It is used to move heavy bodies from lower to higher surfaces or from higher to lower surfaces. Inclined planes are commonly used as ramps outside the building for the handicapped, as ramps to load the truck. In sliding rides, let's learn to screw. A screw is an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. It is driven by a screwdriver which twists it into the objects with a circular motion. A screw is used to hold the objects together. Following are some common objects around us that use screws. A screw type water tap uses the rotatory mechanism of a screw to open and close. A screw type bulb has grooves at its bottom where it tightens into the holder with rotations. After the screw comes to the wheel and axle. The wheel and axle consist of a rod called the axle which goes through a wheel. A wheel and axle make movement easier. Some examples of wheel and axle are a skateboard, a ferris wheel. The next simple machine is a pulley. A pulley consists of a rope that runs around a wheel. It is used to lift objects upwards. One end of the rope is attached to the load. Force is applied to the other end of the pulley to lift the load. Pulleys are used in the following ways, wells, cranes, and flagpoles. After the pulley comes to the wedge, a wedge is two inclined plane joined back to back in a V-shape. A wedge has a sharp edge at one end. It is used to cut or split things apart. The following objects around us are examples of a wedge. Axe. Knife. Needle. Let's discuss gears. Gears are like wheels with teeth-shaped points around their edges. Some objects in which gears are used include a cycle, watches and clocks, and machines. Thank you students. Goodbye.